Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Welcome to a brand new week of This Week in Crowder College right here on 91.7 FM. Adam Winkler here with you, joined by Natasha Davis. She is the director of the theater department out there at Crowder College. And Tash, thanks for being back with us. Adam, thank you so much for having me. Well, everyone got to enjoy a nice little uh, break over the Christmas season, but you guys are back at it now, and your mind, I'm sure, is uh, going 100 miles a minute getting ready for your next production, and I think it's one of the most uh, beloved stories of all time for kids out there, and that is Robin Hood. Absolutely. We are producing The Many Disguises of Robin Hood, which is a wonderful adaptation of this classic uh, adventure tale, and we are super excited about all that that involves because this play has a little bit of a twist, Um, actually, and I don't think it's giving too much away because it is in the summary. Robin Hood in this adaptation is a girl. Well, that will be an uh, interesting twist on things. And um, you guys have tryouts um, coming up um, later on this month. So tell us about that, because you're going to need some kids involved in that as well. Is that correct? Absolutely. I love the children's production. Every year we get to work with a combination of college-age students, high school kiddos, and even folks as young as seven. Auditions for this production are coming up on Monday and Tuesday, January 24th and 25th. I'll be at the theater from 5 p.m. to 6.30, and we are actually auditioning folks as young as seven, like I mentioned. So this is an open call for anyone. Um, and I would look at other kids, you know, audition kids younger than seven, but I found that seven is usually that age when we really start to be comfortable on stage. Well, tell me about the process of selecting uh, what a performance that you guys are going to do. Is that something you, you sit down and plan out before the year starts? Or do you have a list of, of, of plays that you want to get to over time? So this season has been really uh, different and exciting for me. Yes, of course, I think every director and theater artist has a bucket list of scripts that they'd like to work on. But uh, this year, we've done a little things a little bit differently. I let students select our main stage production for the fall. So our student panel, which consisted of about six people, had to read several scripts over the summer of last year. And we all collaborated a couple of different times throughout the process, met for coffee and things, and talked about the pros and cons of each script. Um, and then I usually, as artistic director, will select the rest of the pieces. But this season, it's been a combination of a student panel and myself. So our production process really starts the summer before and carries over into the spring and fall of that academic year. Well, we know additions are later on this month, but tell us about performance dates and just a chance for local schools to come and, and watch this as well. Yes, yeah, so we know that um, our play falls in concordance with a couple of spring breaks for area districts. I believe McDonald County, Neosho, and Carthage are all on spring break during this time. But we have an opportunity for area schools to bring their kiddos from March 20th through March 24th. And then we'll also be open to the public on the 25th, which is a Saturday at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, and there may be some additional shows, give or take. We have a little bit of time there to um, to add some productions if we see fit. So we have a big week on that, the 20th through the 25th. Often we'll end up doing two shows a day, and the production runs about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes each time. Well, tell me about what else is coming up for your theater department here in the spring semester. Well, we're always busy. We have our annual Reader's Theater and One Up competition coming up February 9th and 10th. We also will be hosting the Misha District competition, which Crowder really is just a host for that. In addition, we'll be collaborating with the Crowder College Foundation in late April to present Suspects and Sleuths, which is a dinner theater fundraiser event. Lots of fun. Always a great event and always a lot of great work by your team out there at Crowder College. Tash, thank you so much for being with us this week. I really appreciate the opportunity, Adam. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. 
Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM.